today. Announcements. 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 Yay. I know. <laughs> I have a little thing with my bear. Last week we heard about the very, very beginning of time. God brought order to what? Chaos. Chaos. Today we will be go Today we are going to be hearing goodbye from Miss Alicia. Ashley. Ashley. Ah! It's okay. Keep going. <laughs> the director of Eastside Kids. Before we sing more songs and hear more about beginning with God, let's celebrate the people who had birthdays this week. If you had a birthday this week, um, we want to say. say this blessing over to you. God made you. God made you. God knows you. God knows you. God loves you. God, God loves, loves you. You, you, you. <laughs> Over the summer, I'm all good at kids supporting our global. global team in Nepal. Let's Nepal. say Nepal. It's okay. <laughs> Amago friends, especially kids and families from Eastside. This is my last Sunday as your kids ministry director. I'm heartbroken that this comes at a time when we can't be together and I can't pray over you and wish you all the things that I hope for for you. I trust that God knows what is best for me though. While I know I always have the choice to not follow what God is asking me to do, I also know that God has shown me over and over again that when I'm following God, even when it is scary, that I will be able to be used by God to bless the body of Christ in even better and more impactful ways. So, like a disciple of Christ that we have heard and read about, I follow even when I don't understand because I love God, I love the church, and I love people just like God does. God has told me it's time to move on and I'm using my faith to take steps forward. I know that God has something new for me. I've spent a lot of time listening and praying and I know that God has a plan for you, your family, and your church. Sometimes God switches us around in the church because we've grown in ways that give us a different job in the church. It's good to rejoice with those who find the next thing that God has for them because we know that God is always working within each of us in order to change the world. God is raising up leaders in your church to take my place and to care for you so you won't feel lost when we do come back together after the quarantine is able to be lessened. When I was growing up in the church, I was told that I wouldn't make a good leader because I'm a girl. That wasn't fair. And I spent a long time trying to make myself be like what other people thought I should be. I tried to be so, I tried so hard to be the kind of girl that looked a certain way, acted a certain way, dressed a certain way, and even talked a certain way, just to make other people in my church happy. But you know what I discovered through Jesus and through people who love me? I can be what my Creator wants me to be without needing every person's approval. What matters is that I am helping others to see Jesus. So, I encourage you to look to those people who want you to think outside the box, to be creative, to be yourself, because that is where you will find God's comfort in His church and encouragement to keep listening to what God wants from you. And then have the courage to do what God asks you to do. You never know what blessings you will receive or give to someone else because you obeyed. It's a wonderful thing to love others, 
to always be looking for ways to do justice in the world and to be a bridge builder. You can be an inspiration to the people in your church by following God and by teaching them what it looks like to be courageous and a disciple. My prayer for all of you has stayed the same through the quarantine and even now with this transition that you would see God and that God would feel so close to you. God has made each of you in unique and special ways. We all look different. We all have different talents and spiritual gifts and the church needs you in order to fully represent the Trinity to those around you. Remember that God the Creator is the one who made you, and God is the one whose identity, your identity, is found in. So I want to read this book to you as I wrap up and I say my final goodbyes. It is inspirational to me, and I hope that you also find it inspirational. So the book is called Be You. It's by Peter H. Reynolds. You were born to be so many things. My wish for you, no matter where your journey leads, is for you to always be you. Be ready to take that next step toward being an amazing, human being. Be curious. Turn every stone. Ask every why and keep digging deeply. Discover your own answers. Be adventurous. Live a big life and when you are ready, step outside of your comfort zone. Bravely explore new paths and see where they lead you. Be connected, find kindred spirits, be with those who make you feel like the real you. Be persistent, keep going, never stop, keep going, never stop, keep going, never stop. Be different, be silly. Be quirky, be odd, be unique, be weird, be colorful, be okay with being different, be just the way you are. Be kind, be understanding, help those around you to be themselves. Listen, then listen some more. Learn more about who they are. Be brave. Try new things, take a deep breath, and plunge forward into new experiences. It gets easier every time you try. Be your own thinker. Think for yourself and set your own unique course. It isn't always easy, but you'll be heading in the direction of you. And for us who follow Christ, the more we live into who Christ calls us to be, the more we live into the direction of God's purpose for our world. Be okay being alone. Take time to be on your own, hear your own thoughts, your inner voice, listen to your heart and listen to what God is telling you. Be patient. Being more you takes time. Take a deep breath, relax. Let your future unfold at its own pace it will be worth the wait. Be okay reaching out for help. When you need a helping hand, a compassionate ear, an encouraging word, reach out. As you voyage out into the world, remember, no matter what, you will always be loved. You are ready, so go ahead. Be you, be very, very you. So as I say goodbye, I want you to be you. I want you to be who God has chosen for you to be. And it does take time and it takes relationship and it takes a lot of questions. But 
I know that God is big enough and strong enough to answer any questions that you have. Um, So ask them. Don't be afraid and don't let other people tell you who you should be. Follow what God says. Um, I love you. I will miss you. We still will be here in Portland. So reach out. We'd love to um, hang out with you. And um, even my kids have kids messengers, so we could chat that way. But um, I will miss you. And I am so excited to see and hear what God does through you. Have a good day. Um, We'll see you soon. Hey kiddos, as you know, we are working this summer on learning how to sing together as a family, pray together as a family, and memorize scripture together as families in your homes. And today we are back to learning how to sing together with the Kirkpatrick family. And they're gonna show us how to sing. My God is so big. So if you've got this at home or on your phone, you can download it on your computer. And you're gonna go to song, first song, number, letter A, my God is so big. So go ahead and grab whatever you've got in your home, whether you're good old hands, maybe you've got a ukulele, or maybe like Leo, you've got a shaker, and get ready to sing with Haley and the kids. Hi, Imago family, we're the Kirkpatricks. This is David. Hollis. Hollis. And Thomas and I'm Haley uh, and we're gonna sing my God is so big you guys ready yeah. my God is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my God cannot do my God is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my God cannot do he made the seas and he made the trees he made the elephants too my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the skies are his hand, he works too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. 